Well, the first question that you ask yourself is, do I want to finish this piece? No, I don't. Second question, you gotta ask yourself, should I finish this piece? Don't have to if I don't want to. Third question, ask yourself, does it piss you off having this piece sitting around for a couple years unfinished and you see it and you know you gotta finish it? Yeah, it pisses me off. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this silly fat little baby dragon today, but uh, I'm gonna finish it. I'm gonna paint it and I don't care. Thanks for the coffee, Robin. I'm not gonna be filming too much carving today. I'm, this is video is just gonna be kind of like how to finish your piece you just don't wanna finish. So why I never finish this piece because you got some rot in the head here. I got some of this uh, glue here, this Gorilla Glue. It, it uh, foams when wet. It, when it gets wet, you mix it with sawdust, Ryan Cook taught me. So I'm gonna fill these holes later. Show you guys how I do that. And I gotta take some of this head off and you can see there's a big crack all the way down here. See it? I'm gonna take some of this uh, head off here so I can have some room for some eyes. I don't know, you tell me what a baby dragon's supposed to look like. Like, you know, there's his little feet sticking out and his little hands and you know, I think the head's just kind of, you can use your imagination. He's got a little spike here, he's got ears, and the spike goes all the way down to his tail, so I gotta carve little spikes in that piece. If you guys can see what I mean. Uh, I'm not very excited, but I just wanna get this done and over with. Yep, silly fat little baby dragon. Okay. Looks kinda like a raven, not a raven, but a uh, finx, or whatever kind of baby dinosaur you want it to be. I really don't care. I do care, but I don't care. Like, I want it to look okay. You know, it's, it's a silly piece for me. I'm not a full, like a big time 360 carver. So it's just about uh, cutting deeper and uh, carving and uh, carrying on, I guess. <laughs> now I'll pull out the die grinder and do some, uh, some uh, stuff things. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if it looks like a baby dragon or what it looks like. Let me turn this light off. I hate LED lights for filming. So I got his little bottom toe things carved in there. I got a, there's his little thing, his little claws. His eyes are kind of blocked out. I got to clean him up. There's his little baby dragon beak thing. It's an eagle baby dragon. Um, Let's see what else here. Let's see, get a better filming thing. This is just to give you guys ideas too. There's his little spikes on his back. This guy's not getting scales, I tell you that much right now. Baby dragons don't get scales. They're, they're born with smooth skin. Okay, so then it goes all the way down here, his tail, and then there's this final piece of his tail. So I'm gonna pull out my Dremel now. I'm gonna try and give this guy like slots in his eyes, like dragon eyes. I don't know. I just don't know. Don't really care. Look, well, don't care, but I do care. It's fun. You don't learn if you don't try new things. I keep telling myself that. That's his fat little belly down there. I try to give him those dragon belly bump things. So this kind of just kind of rub side view. Bump, bump. Anyways.
Okay. So as the story goes, as the story goes, no one's going to finish your carvings but yourself. No one's going to give you the drive. Well, maybe you're married or something or your kids or grandkids are going to give you the drive to go finish a carving but yourself. Just carve Rob asked me peri periodically about the ba baby dragon. So sign your pieces. Here's the baby dragon. I, the head doesn't look um, kind of as cute and fluffy <laughs> as I wanted it to be. Like the rest of the body is fat and out of shape and things aren't in the right places. These holes here, um, this whole piece I'm going to give a clear coat in the springtime. Just like uh, that uh, spire earthing I got. So I'm not going to bother filling those holes. I'll show you after. I'll get the camera and do a close up. Just carve Rob's side view. But there it is. There's this side. Center side. Little baby dragon claws and little baby bare feet. There's fat little dragon things. There's little dragon spikes. Yeah, so his eyes aren't perfectly level. That's okay. But if you look at stuff like this, this is stuff I just carved in there with my Dremel 4300. And uh, the, the, I just used a Cutsaw Extreme Flame Burr to car carve this out. Then I used that... Uh, the Dremel wood burning bit, the 125 bit. Actually, I wasn't even going to finish this dragon. I was just going to paint it, the whole thing pink and throw it on somebody's yard <laughs> like late at night. So they wake up, they're like, what the hell is that in our front yard? <laughs> but it's done. And you can see here, I spray painted in the rocks and then sanded it. So yeah, I think it's, it's, I think it's neat. Let's take, let me take a look at it from here. Kind of looks native. Like even, even I realized when I was done carving it, this hook in the beak thing, the eagle beak or whatever it is, the dragon beak, it's not the same on the same side, other side. Who cares? I'm not trying to enter a competition and somebody that's going to buy it's going to be like, hey, this is not the same as that. And if they do say that, I'll say, well, maybe you should go buy some carvings from somebody else because I'm not that guy. So let me get the camera off the uh, tripod here. There's the Jesus light coming down there. You guys see it? So there's his silly little out talons. See, I've kind of made this one look like a talon and kind of that one. Just a little claws, whatever. I curved it quick. There's your side view just carved up. It's not a fluffy little dragon, but it's a baby dragon. Dragons are supposed to look aggressive looking. Take it easy, man. So let's look at this side. Then we'll go over and we'll look at the center. That's what I was doing when I was carving these. I knew that eye, the right eye was a bit lower. I could have corrected it, but I was like, ah, what I'd have to do is take this eyebrow up a bit higher and then carve the eye higher. It's not a hard correction, but I was just like not into it. That's it, everybody. And uh, yeah, you probably already seen the burrow video, but I want to try and fix that uh, wood spirit. Let's look right now if I have enough depth. So that's how much depth I got in that wood. The eyebrows come about back here. So maybe I could try and carve these eyebrows back farther. But look how far his nose already sticks off. Anyways, who cares? It is what it is. It's ugly wart, tree wart. I might, if nobody buys this, I might even carve these little silly faces at each burl. You know, like give this, give this one like a, so it's looking that way, a wood spirit or a face. Then a little face in there and a little face in there. Don't really care. I can always cut that off right there too. And keep that burl for, uh, for another project. Thanks for the coffee again, Robin. I just used the second card again today. The second card that you got me, I just started it today. That's it, everybody. Card infusion. My feet are frozen. Going home. Got to finish a couple wood spirits for uh, some prizes. <laughs>